Hi, I'm Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. I have this devotion for you today. It's from Jeremiah chapter 7. The word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. The Lord told him, Stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word. Say, Hear the word of the Lord, all you men of Judah, and who enter these gates to worship the Lord. Amend your ways and your deeds, and I will let you dwell in this place. Do not trust in these deceptive words. This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, and once again, the temple of the Lord. Jeremiah is calling people to a heart religion, a religion that says, well, all right, I'm going to make an assessment of my life, and I'm going to reach, I'm going to follow God, and I'm going to pursue Him radically. I'm going to set my life to, to be to be in harmony with his aims, to understand the heart of God and make that my heart. And this is a work that the Holy Spirit can do in us. That we need not just always be the same people we were, believing in that, that somehow if we just go through the motions, if we just maintain kind of a, kind of a good character, uh, this will be the sort of thing that, that will cause us not just bring us salvation, it's well known you're not going to get your salvation through your good works, oh, but these things by themselves are not going to present to the world the image of God that it is heart, that it is his heart that people have. Instead, he says, you know, amend your ways uh, and your deeds, and I will let you dwell in this place. Believe his promises. Believe that God had a vision for his covenant people to be a light to the nations. And, and this is the, the vocation, this is the life that they were supposed to, supposed to take up. Not just saying, well, we've gone to the temple of the Lord. We have the temple of the Lord. Other people don't have the temple of the Lord, so we must be okay. Oh, no, no, no. It isn't, and it isn't that you go to the right church or the best church or the church you've always gone. But you have taken your life, held it up to God, and allowed him to mold you and to make you. You know, Jeremiah's is a life that God touched and held, and may God be holding and touching and molding your life today. That is my prayer. God bless.